Finance Department, <coughs> I'm showing 383,411. I'll move that. Second. Seconded by Mr. Pluff. Mm -hmm. A 4.91% increase. Is that the right number, Chris? 383,411. Who did I ask? No. It's the Finance Department. We'll do the audit services in a minute. Separately. Uh, the 39,300 for. Uh, uh, 39,300. I'm looking. For postage. For, uh, what's the what's the color? The default, li the default line should not be the same as what's requested, and the 37,000 for the next line down the bank service. You're right. Charge. The default budget is out of kilter there, but we're not going to spend our lives on the default budget. Okay. Well, I'm pointing it out to Christy. Christy so do you up. want to? More <laughs> Do you want to say anything to your budget or? Sure, I'll say something about budget. Uh, there's an increase in regular wages and part-time wages. The uh, big increase there is related to um, FMLA, FMLA leave of an employee that I know uh, I'm going to have next year. And so I have put in to have coverage so that we can um, have someone in that position when the individual is out. Uh, the postage has gone up. The tax collector has, when she puts her liens on property now, she used to pay the vendor who processes the liens the postage, and now it has to be paid out of the postage line. So that line increased. And bank service charges is increased, just based on the actuals that we've been spending there. And that's about it. I, I have a question about the family leave item. Yes. Uh, yes. Why would that go up? Because there's nothing that Family Leave Act says you have to pay it. You have to pay the employee if they have time on the books. And this is the additional money that's in the budget is to have coverage so I can have someone in the office to do that person's job when they are out. I understand, but if the person takes leave and you don't pay them, then. But you I will be paying the person if they have leave them. on the books. They have sick and vacation time on the books, and yeah. under FMLA, you are allowed to exhaust all of your sick and vacation time so the individual has time on the book so i will be paying the individual who is out so and she has, i would like to pay for someone to yeah. cover the time when that person is out i understand that part so she has 10 to 12 weeks of uh, she does, yes. on the books okay yeah. Yeah. okay that's why it's 10 to 12 and then i'm not sure if she's going to have the whole 12. Yeah. okay so you understand the intent of the motion 383 411 for, for, for vacation and, and leave and stuff like that for the 2017 budget. No. And okay. the, uh, the uh, postage, I mean, I know Mike Schwartz and I discussed this a couple of years ago about the ability to meter which departments are using that postage. That's kind of going up back then, and now it's going up again. And I'm wondering if you are looking into uh, getting a metering system set up, which isn't that difficult, because it's already software-based, right? Our postage person is software-based. We do not meter it, though. Yeah. We don't mark, because not all of the departments our uh, the mail is not distinguishable because a lot of the departments use the same town envelopes uh, stationary mm -hmm. uh, but we do not meter it now right now we know, have software though on you, this. you know there's an old saying you can't measure it you can't manage it right right but the postage is all out of this out yeah. no one else has postage so that, in their budget that's a problem space that you know if we could measure it then, then management yeah. will be able to uh, manage it. Yeah. and so i just wanted to highlight that that, that uh, it's something that is still kind of on my mind from yeah. years ago Okay, are you ready for the a vote on the motion? No, I'm not. Well, we're not. We've got more to get through, well, and we well, can't let's hurry keep, up and make mistakes. Then we can't. We're not making mistakes. What are yeah, you, you are. Stephen? You, know, no, no. you said it's a mistake. Vote. I'm ready to vote. Bless but your heart. I'm ready to vote. Okay. Well, if Steve's ready, then the world is. I yes. That's a certainty. That's an excellent thought. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> Brian. How about you? I mean. Okay, Steve. Hands. Mark is. Okay. Listen. Mr. Um, Jones is doing what? I am adamantly opposed. Mr. Jones is opposed, and Mr. Pierce is Not out of the opposed, room. Adamantly. So, Mark, Mr. Pierce abstaining. 